Final Cut Pro is great for creating that rewind effect, but you're doing it wrong. No worries, I'll show you an unknown two-click effect for that pause, rewind, play look. And at the end, I'll reveal my number one spot for free VCR sound effects. Be kind, rewind. All right, here we are in Final Cut Pro, and I've got this clip of a girl down dancing down the aisle. Oh yeah, we see you. Nice moves. And we've got some music with it. So first thing I'll do is select both and I'll turn them into a compound clip by pressing option G. I'll give it a name and then I'll press enter or click on okay. Now we need to reverse this clip and there's a few different ways you can do it. Select the clip, go up to modify, then down to retime and select reverse clip. Or select the clip and click on the retime editor here and select reverse clip. Or press command R to bring up the retime editor, click this little arrow here, select custom, and then click on reverse. Unfortunately, there's not a keyboard shortcut for it. All right, let's see what we've got. The music and the dancer are moving backwards. Perfect. Now we need to make it look like it's an old VCR. Select the clip and open up the inspector by clicking on this button in the upper right hand corner and then go to the color inspector. Click on no corrections and let's add a color wheel. Let's flatten the image a little bit. Let's increase our shadows and decrease our highlights to make it look more like a VHS tape. Let's also add some color cast to it. VHS tapes always had some sort of kind of color to it. Let's go kind of in the warm direction. There we go. All right, let's add some effects to it. Open up the effects browser by clicking on this button and go to blur. Add prism to your clip and add sharpen to your clip. Go to your video inspector and let's move our color wheels down to the bottom. Let's set prism to about an eight. I'll click on that and press eight and then enter and then sharpen. Let's go to around an eight or a 10. We'll put nine. There we go. Now it's starting to look more like a VHS tape. We need to add a little bit more though. So let's go down to the stylized section and let's add this film grain. We'll drag and drop it onto our clip and let's add bad TV. Move film grain and bad TV up. Let's put bad TV at the very top and then let's set bad TV to about a five and for grain, change it to realistic grain. There we go. Now we need to make the audio sound like it's on a VHS tape. So go down to audio effects section, click on distortion and drag and drop the car radio effect on there. This is what it sounds like and looks like. It's looking pretty good, but it just looks like it's playing backwards. We wanna make it look like it's rewinding. So we need to change the timing of it. You can click on this arrow right here and you can select reverse fast and pick one of these. Let's try eight times. All right, that's a little bit too fast. So let's go reverse four times. All right, that looks much better, but we need some cool like re rewind scan lines that you see. Check this out. We go to this website called Pexels and I found this free download of a video that we can use that looks like rewind. And I'll put a link to it in the description. So I'll click on free download and it just downloads it right away. And I can just drag and drop that into my timeline. I'll line it up with my video and I'll trim it at the end here by pressing option right bracket. Then I'll select my clip and I'll go to the video inspector and under blend mode, change it from normal to screen. And let's pull the opacity down just a little bit, around 75 or so. All right, how's that looking? Oh yeah, that's looking good. But we need to add a little title that says rewind. So open the title browser by clicking on this button over here and go to the build in out section and then double click on your compound clip to open it up. And let's add custom to this clip here. Let's make sure it's long and meets up. Okay, we'll select it and then click here and double click on the text and let's add the word rewind. We'll go to the text inspector and I'm looking for one called PF Video Text Pro. It's a nice old school looking one. Here it is, this is what it looks like. And I'll put a link to this as well in the description. Let's go down and click here on show next to face and let's change the color and let's try this green, this retro green, that looks good. And let's turn the opacity down just a little bit and then click and drag to change the position. Oh, you know what we forgot to add? Those cool little arrows that point. So I'll double click on the text and then I'll go over to edit emojis and symbols and let's try triangle. There we go, this one, that's the one we want. And then if I hold down shift and left arrow, I can select it and now I can copy it and then paste it, there we go. It's a little bit big, so let's select our text and just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now we'll click on this arrow to go out of our compound clip and we can see that all those effects are being applied to the text. All right, let's take a look at our effect. I love it, it looks so good. I hope you're loving this video. If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? Totally tubular. All right, what do we do if we want to fast forward it? That's easy, check this out. We'll select our clip and press Command R and we'll select the arrow here and we'll go to custom and we'll click forward. Now it's moving forward fast with our scan lines, but we do need to change the text. So we'll double click on the compound clip. We'll select the title and we'll go in here and we can change this to, what was it, FFWD, I think they would do. And then we'll go to 
edit emoji and symbols and type triangle. And this time we want to use that one. I got to put it in there first. Now I can add it. Okay. And one more. Perfect. So now we'll click this little arrow to go out of the compound clip. And what do we have? Nice fast forward. Perfect. So there's a quick way to save these effects so that you can apply it in the future. Select your clip that you've done all the effects to and in the inspector, click on save effects preset. Let's give it a name. We'll call it rewind and we'll give it a category. Stupid raisins is good. And here is where I can click and select which attributes I want. And I want all of those in there. So I'll click save. Now, if we go to effects and this category, stupid raisins, we will see a rewind effect right here that we can apply to our clips. So I want this clip to play a little bit and then rewind and then play again. So what I'll do is select the section I want to rewind. I'll press R to bring up the range selection tool, and then I'll click and drag on my clip the section I want to rewind. Then I'll go to the retime editor here and I'll select rewind, and then I'll select the speed. Let's do two times. What that did was it added this section right next to it, it reversed it, and it sped it up. So let's take a look at what we've got. She's strutting, it hits this point, it rewinds, and then it goes back and plays again. I wanna make this though, like it's a real VCR, like we're pushing pause, then rewind, and then pause and play again, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna put my playhead right here, and then I'm gonna press Shift H, and that will add a hold frame, but I don't want it that long, so I'll click and drag here to shorten it. All right, let's add a freeze frame on here, or a hold frame. So I'll put my playhead right here and press Shift H, and then let's make it a little bit shorter. And now let's see what we've got. Struts, pauses, rewinds, pause, play, perfect. Okay, now we need to add some effects and make it look cool and some sound effects. First, let's add that preset. Let's add rewind to the clip here. So it looks like we got this nice VCR, it pauses, rewinds, pauses, plays, perfect. Let's add that effect or that video, that rewind effect right there. So I'll drag and drop this to my timeline and I'll trim it right here by pressing option right bracket. We'll select it, we'll go to blend mode and we'll select a screen. And now we pause, it rewinds, then it plays again. We need to add some freeze frames there as well. So I'll select this, I'll go to the first one and I'll press shift H. It adds a little hold frame, which is fine. Let's move this here to line it up and we'll trim the freeze frame. Okay, go to the last frame and make sure your clip is selected and press Shift H to add another freeze frame and we'll trim it to get it just lined up perfectly. There we go. And we'll also trim this one up. All right, so when it pauses, we have those little lines, it rewinds, and then we have lines again. Perfect. But now we need some sound effects. Go to this website called Freesound and search for VCR. You'll need to create an account to download, but I like this one right here, so I'll click on this and I will download it. These are all free to use, royalty free, and we'll go back and I want this one that's just vcr.wave right here and we'll download that as well. And then we'll add these to our timeline. Once they're done downloading, I'll just drag and drop them in. We'll use this one and move it right here where the pause happens. I have some rewind right here that I wanna use plus a click when it ends. All right, we've got our rewind sound. Let's trim it up and get it just right. I want this click though to line up right here. Okay, there we go. All right, let's hear how that sounds. That is perfect. Let's add that title. I'm gonna click on the title I made earlier and copy it for my compound clip. And then I'm just going to paste it right here in my timeline. We'll put it below and we'll trim it. And here is our final product. I love it, it's so cool. What a great way to make your video stand out and look different. Another way to make your video look unique is custom titles and motion graphics. I put together a pack of titles, transitions, and effects, and I call it the All-Star Pack. Check out these titles that you can get with it. It's these little social media call to actions, like here's Instagram. So we can put that over our clip here and we can move it around on screen. We can make it a little bit smaller and I can change the text as well. And if we go to the published parameters, we can also change a ton of stuff like the colors and the animation. It's worth $138, but I wanna give it to you for free. Just click the link in the description. Happy editing.